Hi everyone! Welcome to another ceramics remote learning video. I am so excited for what we are about to create today. Sign hands in the air if you're excited for what we're about to create today and lock it up. So today we have a very fun project that we're about to do all together in our very own homes because the magic of art does not stop in the classroom. It continues in our homes and I can't wait to get started. Before we get started, quick reminder, um, we talked in our last video about Google Classroom. You were all invited to the Scholar Talent Google Classroom that has all of the Scholar Talent content there for you so it's all easy in one place. You got an invite, make sure that you accept that invite that you received so you can take a look at the projects and you can turn in projects if you want to. Um, for our class, I'm not requiring that you turn in a picture of what you made, but if you'd like to turn in a picture and you want to show me what you did for today's project, you can most definitely do that. You can attach a picture right when you go to turn in the assignment. And my instructions for attaching a picture, a picture on Google Classroom are in the ceramic section. It says how to upload a photo. So if you want to do that, you can definitely check out the instructions, upload a photo so I can see your work and comment on it. But if you're also struggling with uploading on Google Classroom, which I think that you guys can do, but if you're having a hard time with it, my email is there on Google Classroom for you also, so you can email me a photo. So whatever works best, but this is optional, you don't have to. If you would like to show me and talk about your work, you may. So now that we got that update in, make sure you accept your invite so you can see all the projects and you can turn in work if you would like. Um, yes, that was, I think that was my only update for today. So I think now we are ready to get started. So today we are going to look at some artwork from another artist making something kind of like what we are going to do in our very own homes. So today we are going to do another 2D drawing project. And what you're going to think about while you're working is what do you notice outside your window. Hmm, what do you notice outside your window? What do you see when you look out the window? Let's take a look at an artist doing a drawing of what they saw right outside their window. Here we go. Guys, let's check out what this artist did in their drawing. Remember, I'm not expecting that you create your artwork like this artist. This is just one artist's way of creating art. So I'm not expecting you to copy it because your art is unique to you, right? So we're just taking a look at what this artist did. If you want, grab your paper and pen so you can jot down your thoughts. I'll ask some questions as we go along. And also, I'm not going to show the whole video because it's a long video. So we'll skip around a little bit. Here we go. is doing with their drawing utensil. If you haven't done so already, you might want to jot down your thoughts on a piece of paper. What do you notice so far?
If you need more time to write, you can pause this video and continue writing. Let's keep watching. the same in this artist's drawing? What are some things you notice about the lines and the shapes that you're seeing? Let's keep watching. What do you think are some challenges this artist might have faced when they were creating this drawing? What are some things that you think are working well? You can pause this video if you need more time to write. Let's keep watching. There we have it. Outside, the window drawing. All right. All right, guys. Now it is our time to create. So we checked out an artist, and one way they decided to draw what they saw outside their window. Now it's our time to make our very own drawings of what we see outside our windows in our very own homes. So I'm going to work alongside with you. But reminder one more time, I'm not expecting your work to look like mine. All of our work is going to come out different and unique because your art is unique to you. So as I'm working, know that it's not supposed to be an example of what you should be making. This is just my way of representing what I'm seeing outside my window. And your way is probably going to be different. And that's a good thing, right? So let's get started. First of all, you need paper, pen, pencil, whatever writing utensil you want to use. If you'd like to use colored material, that's great too. I'm just using some lined paper, regular old lined paper, and a pen. So grab your material so we can begin. Once you've got your material, grab your comfy spot right next to your window so you can observe what you see. So I'm looking outside my window and I'm seeing lots of cars. I'm seeing buildings. There's some people out there some grass and bushes and some trees. I see a lamppost. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I draw what I'm seeing out my window right now? How can I put that on paper? And sometimes I gotta think for a minute what I wanna do. What angle I wanna look at. What thing I wanna start drawing first. I think I'm ready to get started. Right guys, beginning to draw, we see right outside our windows. So I'm working right here, a little bit over so you can see. There we go. 
Alright, I'm going to put on some music for us while we're working, just to have some nice background music as we work. decided to add my window in my drawing. If you just want to see what you see outside, draw that. That's great too. There's no one way to create. There's so many ways that you can create and draw. And this is just what I'm doing. I noticed I'm seeing the windowsill. I decided I want to include the windowsill in my drawing. from the other buildings? Do you want to include street signs? Are you going to draw with a lot of lines? Or maybe you draw by shading and coloring it in. Or you can keep it black and white. I don't know. I can't wait to see how these are coming out. So I stopped for a minute because I'm thinking what I want to do next. I want those lines to stand out. And if my lines are dark, that kind of makes them pop out. Just like bold writing. When something's dark, it 
brings your eye right to it. So I'm trying to darken some spots that I want to distinguish and separate from the rest of the drawing. Darken some lines in my window. And move on to the next thing. Take your time with this. Enjoy observing what you see outside your window. Enjoy observing all of the different lines and shapes that you're seeing and recreating them on your paper. This is your time to explore. Have fun with it. shading around the window to show the sun coming in, the light and the dark values that I'm seeing. And I'm pretty much just scribbling in my shading right now. Just scribbling it in. started scribbling in the shading next to the windowsill. Now if you can see, like I said, now that this part has some dark values in it, it kind of makes it pop and brings it to life. How's your drawing going? What shapes do you notice that you're making? Have you included everything that you're seeing outside? Or are you focusing on certain parts of what you're seeing? What do you want to draw next? Want to add color to your drawing? Or do you prefer to keep it black and white with pencil or pen?
take a second to step back from your heart. Take a look at it. Sometimes it helps artists to step back and notice what we've done so far. What did you create so far? What do you think you want to do next? Or what do you think you want to add to your drawing to make it feel more, more finished? I just took a step back and took a look at my drawing. I was thinking, definitely needs some more dark and light strokes with my pen. So I'm gonna go in and darken some things up before I start drawing what I see outside. But if you already started drawing what you see outside and aren't focusing on the window like I am, that's great too. I'm going to take a break from drawing the window. I'm going to move on to something else. Start adding the things that I see. I'm starting drawing light so I can go back over it and add to it and change it. It's always good to start light and then darken as you go. there was a crosswalk right next to the fountain, so I'm adding another crosswalk.
studies. So what are you noticing is happening in your drawing? This was mine so far. I focused on the window first and the shades and then I started adding in all the little things that I saw outside. And something I noticed was the things in the window were a little harder to draw because it was so teeny tiny and there was a lot of really small details. And sometimes as things get smaller, they're a little more difficult to draw. So that was my noticing as I was working. What were your noticings from when you were working? What did you feel was working well? What did you feel like could use some growing? Jot down these thoughts as this video is coming to an end. And if you need more time on your drawing, you can continue working on it after we end this video. But that was so, so much fun. Lots of fun making these awesome drawings of what we see at our windows. As always, you make me so proud every single day. I love getting to create during these ceramics remote learning videos that we do together. And I cannot wait for our next project together. And I will see you soon, my loves. Bye!